Here we go again. Man United's deal to sign Gerard Branthwaite could come down to a major pinch point, according to David Ornstein in The Athletic. Everton have until June 30th to sell players in order to comply with league PSR rules, which saw them slapped with two-point deductions last season. United saw a bid worth a total 43 millions of pounds rejected by the Toffees, who want closer to 70 millions of pounds for him. Everton would rather meet their obligations by selling training prospects instead of shipping out their big stars. But the report adds Man United launched the bid due to their belief Sean Dyche's team may be left between a rock and a hard place when it comes to a sale. Meanwhile, Lazio have opened talks with Manchester United over a deal for Mason Greenwood. The England winger caught the eye of several teams with a string of impressive performances during his loan spell with Getafe last season. Italian giants Juventus were interested in acquiring his services, although Sunsport revealed this week they've cooled their interest. But a move to Serie A could still materialize for the 22-year-old, as Lazio have opened talks with United about signing him. Sunsport understands the Rome club are eyeing a 30 millions of pounds move for the forward. Napoli also hold an interest in signing Greenwood, so Lazio's move could spark an all-Italian battle for the signature of the Red Devils Academy graduate. Greenwood has one year left on his current contract at Old Trafford. United do have the option to extend his deal at the Theatre of Dreams, but that's incredibly unlikely. Lazio were one of several clubs keen on signing Greenwood last summer, but Getafe ultimately won the race to sign the exiled Red Devil. Greenwood joined the Madrid-based club last September in a bid to rebuild his career after he had charges of attempted rape, controlling and coercive behavior, and assault, dropped six months earlier. New United shareholder Sir Jim Ratcliffe recently opened the door for a shock return for the England international, but the club have seemingly performed another U-turn on his future. He said, we will make a decision, correct. All I can do is talk about the principle of how we will approach decisions like that. Is he the right type of footballer? Are we happy with if he's a good person or not? He's a Manchester United footballer, so we are in charge of football. So the answer is, yeah, we have to make decisions. It's quite clear we have to make a decision. There is no decision that's been made. He's on loan, obviously, but he's not the only one. We've got one or two footballers that we have to deal with and we have to make a decision on, so we will do that. The process will be, understand the facts, not the hype. Then try and come to a fair decision on the basis of values, which is basically, is he a good guy or not? Greenwood made 33 appearances for Getafe last season, scoring eight goals and providing six assists for Jose Bordalas's side. In the other news, yesterday was announced that Luke Shaw ruled out. Manchester United star Luke Shaw won't play for England against Denmark today. The three Lions take on the Danes in their second Euro 2024 match in the group stage at Deutsche Bank Park. But manager Gareth Southgate confirmed Shaw won't take part due to injury. That means Southgate will be without a left back, and thus right back Kieran Trippier might have to fill in again. On the other side, Manchester United open talks over move for Bologna forward Xerxy. Manchester United have made Joshua Xerxy a top target this summer, according to Sky Germany. Eric Ten Hag wants to sign the Bologna forward, who is playing with the Netherlands at Euro 2024, and United have open talks with his representatives. AC Milan have been unable to agree a deal for Xerxy, and United now have a good chance of moving into pole position. The 23-year-old recorded 12 goals and 7 assists as Bologna qualified for the Champions League this season. Meanwhile, Manchester United are listening to offers for winger Jadon Sancho. Borussia Dortmund remain in talks over a deal, while Juventus have also approached United over a potential signing. They are two of a number of clubs in Italy and Germany who are interested in Sancho. United's valuation is understood to be around 40 millions of pounds. United have given permission to Sancho's representatives to sound out interested clubs. On the other side, Manchester United are expected to table an official offer for Genoa goalkeeper Josep Martinez today, as Ineos look to scupper rival interest, according to reports. The Spain international has emerged as a surprise summer target, hinting at a potential exit by one of Andre Onana or Altai Bayindir. Martinez featured in 36 of Genoa's Serie A games last season, conceding 43 goals and keeping 8 clean sheets on the way to an 11th place finish. 
He has been linked with a switch to Inter Milan in the coming months, but United have seemingly entered the frame for his signature. Onana produced a mixed maiden campaign at Old Trafford following his 47 millions of pounds arrival from Inter and is expected to remain Eric Ten Hag's first choice stopper next term. Alte Badenir also landed in M16 last summer in a four millions of pounds deal from Fenerbahce, but he was limited to just one appearance while Onana was at the Africa Cup of Nations. The 26-year-old has lost his starting spot in the Turkish national team and has been touted to leave United for regular minutes this summer. Martinez seems to have been earmarked as a target and could even be United's first signing of the Ineos era. According to Sacha Tavolieri, the Red Devils are expected to formulate a concrete bid for Martinez and send it to Genoa as early as today. However, the Spaniards' representatives have reportedly held discussions with Inter, and the prospect of a stay in Italy may appeal more than becoming United's backup goalkeeper. Martinez's transfer fee will always be a significant factor, given Ineos's budget is limited due to FFP and PSR concerns. United must sell players to spend beyond around 50 millions of pounds this summer, with Casemiro, Jadon Sancho and Mason Greenwood's exits all expected to raise funds. And given a centre-back, central midfielder and striker are on the club's wish list, they won't splash a significant amount on a new goalkeeper. On the other side, Manchester United have joined race to sign Mark Guehi, according to the Daily Mail. Guehi has attracted the attention of some Premier League giants after an impressive few seasons for Crystal Palace. And the 23-year-old only added to his value with a dominant display for England against Serbia on Sunday night. The Telegraph have reported Palace have set a price of 65 millions of pounds. Liverpool and Tottenham are both said to be interested as well. Meanwhile, Ahmad Diallo is set to stay and fight for his place at Man Utid, according to Football Insider. The 21-year-old, who has just one year remaining on his contract, has been the subject of interest from elsewhere, but it's now claimed that he will be given the chance to play more minutes next season in a bid to earn himself a new deal at Old Trafford. Diallo, struck by injury, made just 12 appearances across all competitions for United last term. In other news, Manchester United midfielder Casemiro has reportedly rejected the opportunity to join another European giant this summer. The 32-year-old moved to Old Trafford from Real Madrid for a reported 70 mailers in the summer of 2022, and he impressed during his debut campaign with the Red Devils, making 53 appearances in all competitions. However, Casemiro endured a challenging 2023-24 campaign filled with plenty of highs and lows, more of the latter with his performances in both midfield and defense, criticized by fans and pundits on several occasions. Casemiro played 32 times in a Man United side that slumped to their lowest finish in the Premier League era, ending up in 8th place, and they also crashed out in the group stage of the Champions League. Man United did end the season on a high by winning the FA Cup, but that triumph was without Casemiro, who was left out of the matchday squad and remains the subject of much speculation ahead of the new campaign. Casemiro has recently attracted interest from Saudi Pro League duo Al Nasser and Al Hilal, but according to Trevela, Bundesliga giants Bayern Munich have attempted to sign the Brazil international. The report adds that Bayern carried out a survey of Casemiro, and the midfielder initially welcomed the possibility of moving to the Allianz Arena, but talks between both parties failed to progress, and the values signaled by the Germans did not entice the midfielder to depart Old Trafford. It is claimed that Bayern also expressed an interest in signing Casemiro at the end of the 2022-23 season, when contact was made between the two parties, but a move to Bavaria ultimately failed to materialize. Bayern, now managed by Vincent Kompany, have since stepped up their pursuit of Fulham midfielder Joao Palhinha, and are said to be in negotiations over a potential 38 millions of pounds transfer. Travella claims that Casemiro only intends to leave Man United if he receives a proposal that is advantageous, from both a financial and project-based perspective, with the Brazilian still aiming to compete for top honors at the highest level. Such a desire would seemingly rule out a potential move to Saudi Arabia, but it remains to be seen whether any other top European clubs, aside from Bayern, would be willing to lure him away from Old Trafford.
Casemiro is believed to be Man United's highest earner, pocketing around £350,000 per week, and he still has another two years remaining on his contract, with the option of an additional 12 months. The future of Man United's number 18 comes at a time when Eric Ten Hag's side have been linked with a plethora of midfielders in recent weeks, including Benfica's Joao Neves, who has allegedly been identified as the Red Devils' number one target should Casemiro leave the club.